that towards the end of the, this first lesson. All right. Sir, sir, all sir. right. So okay, all I'm going to do, your other guy is just going to be a tree. He's just going to, you're just going to do this. This is you're a zombie. You just do this the whole time. This is what you do. He's going to wedge, slap him in. Wedge, slap him in. Wedge, slap him in. All I'm doing is this. I'm letting him work on my limbs. It's all this. Depending on how good his coordination gets, I can speed up the reference points, of course. But for right now, you can go super slow. Wedge, slap in. Now, when I do this shot, the wedge is the eye shot. But if, if I run into something, that would be the next hit, obviously. Okay? But we don't have to make it combative right now. Right now, I just want you flowing with it. Wedge, slap in. Wedge, slap in. Wedge, slap in. Now, see this little hole here? That's where the wedge goes in. The wedge can be palm up. We call that tansa. The wedge can be palm down. We call that jong sao or gong sao, depending. And the wedge can be palm down. We call it bil sao. I predominantly do this one because I'm trying to hit the eye. I don't want to trap. I want to hit the eye. I want to hit. So I'll let you decide where your hand lands. Watch. That's tansa. 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 See the bil sao? See how it collapses? That was it. We'll get into that later, right? So for right now, that's all I want you to do, okay? So he puts the hand, all he's doing is this, dude. No, no, just, yes. Yeah. One, two, three, that's all he's doing. He's not over parrying. You don't want this, because then there's no need to trap, right? <laughs> okay? So he, yeah, so I go here. Now, we make a lop sow. So pock sow means to slap, slap it in. It's actually called pock dop, slap it in. Lop is to pull. Now, a lot of you don't even need to worry about the terminology. Some of the, a lot of these people are in my instructor's programs, and they, I don't think, I need them to know it. Okay. Um, so I go here. Lop is to pull. So my goal is to, I'm, I'm going to pull and just run him right into the punch, right? So I don't do that much for the drill. I pull, slap him in. Wedge, pull, slap him in. Wedge, pull, slap him in. Wedge, pull, see, slap him in. Wedge, pull, slap it in. Okay, so here I'm all gonna do some. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm just, I can do this in my seat. Yeah. I tried. And he wants to see it again, he got it. Okay, got it. So, so all we're doing, once we wedge, we're gonna pull that line, and then this is still here. Put it to his body and hit the face. He's going to pick it up. Cool. Yeah, say one thing too. If you're messing up on it, typically the first thing you should do, slow it down. Slow it down. Especially when we work on compound trapping or compound techniques, which is more than one. Just slow it down. I have a tendency to do stuff so fast because I want to shock at all of you guys, but in reality, in my personal training, I, and those that are around me a lot, you can. I do stuff very slow, especially at the beginning. You see what I'm saying? I speed up progressively through it. Okay. Faster than Tai Chi. Yeah. So, so smooth is fast. That's the mentality. All right, go. Sir, sir. So I want to. I want to kind of correct some things. One of the biggest things I see in trap in the trapping community is the chambering of the punch. This is what I say. And I'm gonna go super fast. Block it. Now I'm gonna go super fast. Block it. Watch, my goal is to go forward. In fact, if he moves his hand, it's already going. I'm like a core, I'm like a rubber band ready to pop. I'm going forward, my goal is to, I'm always going forward, always. Does that make sense? Sir. Okay, so he's pushing me right now. All he does is move this, and it goes. It, it, makes, the, it makes the shot more dynamic, and it makes you look weaker than you are. There's no reason that a 245 follow man should be as fast as I am. Just by speed alone. Does that make sense? It's because I understand economy of motion a little bit. And that's called economy of motion. That's one of the core principles that you do economy of motion. We punch from where we're at. If he blocks low, I don't do this. I go from I go from the shot. This is going. Does that make sense at all? Yes, so never cock your punch. Punch from where you're at. So he's punching through me, not at me. He just, he just bumps it offline. That makes it look more dynamic. Does that make sense, Mel? Yes, sir. Okay. 
Come on down. Sir. So you punch us. So I go here. As soon as I touch, I hit the first one. That's the first shot. I go low. Here's the second shot. I go in. And now watch. When I go in, look. It already starts to turn. I know he's got me. Look, it's already there. It's already starting to kind of roll over. We're going to get, at the end of this, we're going to get the mitts off. Do some of this, okay? Um, um, then, then I punch and punch with the back hand. See, I just, I just, I just go for the lopsided right there. So, that, that makes sense. So as soon as he blocks with the back hand, this is already going. If, if I'm lucky, this is the shot, and it's already there. I don't need the trap. We don't like trapping in Jikudo. That's a big myth. And you see a lot of Jikudo uh, camps focusing only on trapping. That's the June Fun or the Chinese Kung Fu portion. That's pre Jikuno. He threw away most of the trapping. He really did. I've trained with three original students, and they all tell me at the end that he threw away most of the trapping. Okay? So, look, if, if he goes here to black back in, I'm just, that's, if, if I can overbury, that, that's, that's the shot. You see, there's no need to trap. But if he's solid and he doesn't overbury, I have to trap the shot. Does that make sense at all? Yeah. Alright, watch the end. Lead hand attachment. Punch. Low lead hand attachment. Inner arm attachment. Rear hand attachment. You get those four basics, then the compound trapping is easy. Because if he does a high hand attachment, then I can go any, I can go any trap I want to do after that. If he goes low, see I can go any trap that I want to do after that. Does that make sense at all? So yeah. if you can get the, the shell or the prefix, we call it. More time? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One more time. So the, the formula is simple. I block before cross and cross, and then there's the there's the kick on there's the kick on the second one. Does that, does that make sense? Very simple. Watch. So I block, I'm gonna hit the eye. This moves his head back, the cross he'll never see. You guys, you guys follow me? So, yeah. so it goes one, ping choy, now choy, ping choy. Maltec, which is round kick. That's the next one I want, I want you to get. Okay, so you can go low, you can go high. You know that you you know the the the, 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 the prefix is that. Okay? So now let's add the compound trap. Then we're gonna add a finish to it. Okay? So I go here, I hit the first shot, he crossed the center line, which is his nose. I have there's the second shot. Now, throughout the years, first gen, second gen, third gen, fourth gen, Jiku Do students have tried to learn a hole for this shot. Including me. It used to be very, it's just, you can't really do it. It's, it's risk, without risking heating yourself. Does that make sense? Sure. So I just prefer, and through the years I've learned just to hit his whiskers. I don't teach people I don't teach people to pull a punch. I teach them to control it. Does that make sense? I know that I could have, that enough was enough. But I know I could have juiced it a little more and it would have put it to his knees. Does that make sense? Sorry. Hit it on a dime. And, and that really, that, that kind of evolved in every, even my weaponry. I want to be able to hit with my knife, my stick. I want to be able to hit the same spot every time. I focus on that, man. Okay? So I just go, I just try to, look at that. That was his eyelashes. <laughs> and then I let him go. Keep your jaw down. Look through your eyebrows. Watch. If his jaw is up, anything here is good. That's knockout area. He wants to remove it. Now, bring it back up. Come over here. Watch. See how he blinks? He knows I'm not going to thump him in the eye. Other than that one time. So, you see how he blinks? Now watch. It glues them. It glues them open. Not only does it remove your knockout triangle, it glues your eyes open. When I teach my shooting course, I don't teach people to shoot with their jaw up. I teach them to shoot with their jaw down because beginners tend to, when the first detonation happens, they blink. But if your jaw is down, it tends to lock your eye, eyes open. You look through your eyebrows. Second, third reason. Wood looks more menacing. Leave me alone, or leave me alone, right? Okay. So he tucks it. He looks through his eyebrows. 
He stays on the balls of his feet. Duck feet, tippy toe. He never moves straight back. He always circles or, or lateral. Some core principles there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I go one. I trap it. He pushes that arm. There's the shot. Cross. Hook. Cross. And then I hit with the with the with the kick. Any questions?